Hey everyone, it's Bobby from VU Financial and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about what happens after you've received your approval for the disability tax credit. The letter suggests that you open an RDSP. So today we're going to talk about the four options of how to open up your registered disability savings plan. Let's get started. So option number one, this is probably the most familiar option. It's just to go to your local bank and work with an advisor. All the major banks have RDSP options and some of them actually, you can't open them at the branch level. You do have to call a 1-800 number. So that might be a bit of a nuisance. Anyways, the advisor would probably suggest using a product called mutual funds. So mutual funds are a great solution. A lot of Canadians use that for all of their investments and it is a pooled, assets like stocks, bonds, the portfolio manager makes those decisions for you for a cost. And typically it, the mutual funds are the highest cost investment option available. And that is something just to be aware of. The other thing too, is that your advisor may or may not have experience with the RDSP. This is important because we want to make sure that you're getting all your grants and bonds and the carry forward that we talked about in my other video. Option number two. So you've probably heard about robo advisors. They are fairly new about uh, five or six years in Canada. And what robo advisors have done is that they've reduced the cost of investing by using what we call exchange traded funds, ETFs. And these funds, they follow a broad index. So there's not the same requirement of a portfolio manager. So the costs are significantly less. And this is means that you will have more money in your account. So now a robo advisor does not have advice or an advisor associated with it. So that's why they cost about one third of what a mutual fund would cost. If you are new to the RDSP or new to investing, this might not be the best option for you. However, it is an option if you have some experience in investing and are comfortable with that. Option number three, if you really want to do it yourself, you can use a self-directed discount brokerage. Now, again, as I said, this is do it yourself. So you will be doing the research, doing the buying and selling, and hopefully your knowledge base for the RDSP is sufficient that you're not making those mistakes and effectively, you know, blowing up your account. This is something that I would only recommend for someone that has experience already doing self-directed because the RDSP is quite complicated already. Now, option number four, this is something that you probably may or may not have heard of using a fee based financial planner. And of course, someone that would have expertise in the RDSP. So you could hire a fee based planner and then get holistic advice that will talk about insurance, risk management, cash management, debt management, potentially even estate planning. And then the financial planner typically will use either the robo advisor or a self-directed do-it-yourself as the investment option so that lowers your cost. What's great is that some of these financial planners, myself included, will do a setup fee for the RDSP and then in the future if you needed my services we would charge an hourly rate versus charging a percentage all the time forever and ever. This way you'll be lowering your costs. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of a common situation that happens. So I'm going to introduce you to Jesse. Jessie just recently got approved for the disability tax credit and now she's going to her bank to open up her RDSP. Talks to the advisor, the advisor suggests the mutual funds and gets to the point and says it will be approximately 2.30% and that will be based on your assets and that will of course grow as a dollar amount over time as you contribute and the government contributes to it. So using my example from the other video of having $40,000 and we're not gonna add anything into it further just to simplify things, over a 20 year period, that is going to be approximately $63,000 in fees. So Jesse says, whoa, that, <laughs> that uh, I've, I need some time to think about that. So what she does is she leaves and does a little bit more research, talks to her friend, Randy. Randy says, oh, well, there's an alternative option. You could look at a robo-advisor. Now, robo-advisor is gonna be about 0.75 to about 1%. Again, no advisor, and but significantly less. The, the challenge with the robo-advisor for the RDSP is that there's only one Robo advisor in Canada currently that offers the RDSP. It's still very competitive and I would still highly recommend using that if it makes sense. She does more research and looks at the do it yourself option and she finds out that there is 
a portfolio that could be as low as 0.25% or a ninth of what a mutual fund would be. Now she does a little more research and finds that there is a financial planner that is fee-based and what this advisor is gonna do is teach her how to invest in the self-directed. He charges a one-time setup fee for the RDSP. So Jessie really liked this option and thought that it, was, it would work well for her. I hope you found this information valuable and if you know someone that uh, would find it valuable as well, make sure you share it and smash that like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe. I do have a link below if you wanted to book a short 15 minute meeting to figure out if one of these options works for you. I'm happy to answer any general questions on the RDSP. Make sure you check out the other videos I have on the RDSP grants and bonds and the carry forward and also the RDSP withdrawals. Thank you so much for watching again and we'll see you in the next video.